Wow, thanks for splashing out on a chair. It's the IKEA number and not the cheap one either. Thank you very much. I put it together myself. Oh, should I hang on to something more stable then? Okay. I do like the bounce, I've got to say. That's added, added bonus. Why are yes. we doing, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this, Elle? To show you them that there's other characters in me and that, um, that I'm not always just wearing Ugg boots. Why are you still shatter? Why am I not doing that one character anymore? Well, because I don't know. Why does someone not work at a bank every day of their life? Oh, people do that. <laughs> um, I, don't, no, I don't mean that in a bad way, but you know, when you start a job, you're so excited to be starting a new job and you get it six years down the track. You know, so, I mean, I still love her. She's great, but... Uh, you have got a few characters. Some have been sort of showcased on YouTube. Mandy. Now, people always tell me as a cleaner, you should use a one rag in the kitchen and one rag in the bathroom. And I'm like, well, why? I mean, you can only clean at one room at a time. She is a cleaning lady, as you can probably tell. Um, She's got a few definite opinions uh, and quite a roundabout way of putting things. Uh, then there's Mish. There's so many great things I love about Australia, but one of the reasons I came here is because you guys let backpackers go on your reality shows. Actually, uh, a few years back, my sister's friend's cousin actually won Big Brother. And now like she still gets into nightclubs and stuff for free, like even though it's like years later. So I thought even if I don't win The Bachelor, like if I get over here and give it a go, like at least I'll be able to say like I was on like, you know, the same TV that does Home and Away. Look, I'll let you work Mish out for yourselves. I had a bit of a go at being aggressive instead of progressive. And we're cheaper than the other guys too because we make you do all the work. We don't even have a claim centre. Yes, most of my characters are comedy uh, because when I try and be serious, people just laugh at me anyway, so why fight it? Do you think that's your face? It, look, yeah, it could be my face. I'm very animated, I can't help it. My nose naturally moves when I talk. I did always want to be bewitched when I was little, so perhaps <laughs> it's something I've worked on and now I can't get it out. Uh, how do you talk about something top secret when you can't say what it is and you can't really say what it's about? I have picked up extra skills, skills that perhaps I may never need again, but if you were a dairy farmer, you might really need to use them or a chicken keeper. I don't even know if that's what they're called. Um, or, you know, um, someone else in the working industry. And you can memorise lines, can't you? <laughs> yes, absolutely. I'm a professional. At Aggressive, we're 100% online, which means you never have to choose from a telephone menu. You never have to listen to Kenny G while you're waiting to proceed in a queue to be connected to Manila or Mumbai. And we're cheaper than the other guys too, because we make you do all the work. We don't even have a claim centre. In fact, we are aggressive. Just me and my puppy. Oh, what a cutie you are. Yes, you are. So go on. Go online and insure with us today. Or the puppy dies. Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm from Kent. I'm 26 years old and I'm here to audition for The Bachelor. Well, my mum and dad do think that I've come here backpacking, but I've actually come here to try my hat in the ring for Bachelor 2016. 
I was fully educated in Kent, England, and I've actually just passed uh, my beauty therapy course. So I'm a fully qualified beauty therapist. One of my main like services, what I perform is the Scouse Brow. That's what I've got here. It's very popular in England and I'm hoping to bring it here to Coogee. I think like as a woman you've got to make sure that you are the centre of attention every time you can be. If I'm fair, what I'm looking for in a man is someone that I can actually call a man. Like that. Um, not like that, whatever, I don't care. Um, but like, you know, he's got to be bigger than me, like big, strong, tall. Um, I'm not, I don't care about facial hair, if you've got it, if you don't, like just keep it well groomed. Um, but if you want to get rid of it as well. I love men that like are just pretty relaxed, like, you know, go get me a pint, you know, I'll do that. Um, and but also someone that can have a lot of fun, but also someone that's like not going to be like, you know, in my space the whole time. Like I love Aussie men. Like I just like the idea that like I as a female can look this good and they don't like even care about how they look at all. Um, which kind of just leaves extra time for me. Like the boys where I'm from, they're all about their hair and their and their nose like and their teeth and that. Whereas like Aussie men I feel like they just wake up in the morning, roll out of bed and that's it. All right. Oh, hello. Well, I mean, there's an unwritten rule, isn't there? You know, what's seen by the cleaner stays with the cleaner. It's like an honor, you know, an honor thing. Like when my netball coach, she told me she was a lesbian. So that's between her and I. I would never say anything about that. It's so, I mean, as a cleaner, if you're emptying the bin and you find, you know, a positive pregnancy stick, well, you don't assume hubby knows, nor will he be, you know, happy about it. So you zip it, until you get the words, there's going to be a new addition to the family. Then you up your rate $10, because disposable nappies they may be, but someone's still got to empty the stinking bin. So, you know, but I mean, a lot of things are obvious to me. Um, a recycling bin full of empty wine bottles and empty tissue boxes. Well, I mean, you don't have to be CSI Sydney to figure out that someone's upset about something. There's also a lot of stuff that goes unnoticed, particularly in the teenagers' bedrooms. So, you know, your little princess, well, if she likes to go to dance party festivals all the time and is hiding little fruit tingles in her top drawer, perhaps she's not the little angel that you keep telling everyone she is. And likewise, with your son. I mean, no, he does not use four towels a day to blow his nose on. Thank you. It is different though. I'm not finding the magazines under the beds anymore because um, he looks at all that stuff online now. Um, but he's got the new password on the iPad. Uh, it's not... It's not his birthday and it's not the it's not the dog's name so I don't I don't know what it is but thank God because now I don't have to see that so you know but I mean you don't even find you don't even find a bank statement laying around in a drawer you know in the desk drawer anymore people don't even have filing cabinets they do it all on the um, on the smartphone so you know, but I mean, you might be able to hide your credit card statement, but you can't hide all the receipts that are still in the bottom of your handbag and in like, you know, leftover shopping bags and such from, you, from your big shopping spree on the weekend. I guess it's like Nan says, you know, smart people 
clean up before the cleaner gets there. Stay here, you little asshole. <laughs> Oh, hello. Well, glad to be back from summer holidays, are we? Well, I mean, I'm not ecstatic about it. The door... Do we have the key? Yes. Oh, shit. Are you sure? No, but... It's okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> One moment. <laughs> I'll put that there. It's not a bomb, all right? Okay. I've got to check my boobs are in. Just got to. Right. A ready mark. Hi, I'm Michelle. 